What's up guys, it's Jacob. Today we're gonna to be pulling the dirt, uh, the small dirt bike out of the shed, the XR100. And we're gonna be doing wheelies or whatever, just riding around, because I haven't really rode that bike yet since I bought it. It's just been sitting in the shed. Uh, right now, we're going to the gas station, gonna get some gas. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen my new truck, I just, so I'll show y'all. 05 F350 6.0 pretty nice but right now uh, I had to replace the upper radiator hose so I'm just adding some coolant in it before I go to the gas station there's the interior it's pretty nice but anyways I'll catch up with you guys later Alright guys, the bike should start up, no problem. I'm gonna drain the gas out of it first. I got some premium gas. I may have to just fine tune the idle screw and maybe the pilot screw a little bit to get this bike running. But last time I parked it in the shed, it was running fine. So we shouldn't have any problem. And then uh, we're probably gonna go into the field and try to do some wheelies or whatever, but we'll see. All right, guys. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Turns out the the tire isn't sitting to the rim, so I think the inner tube is bad. It was sitting in, in the shed. Um, it was it wasn't on a stand, so tire went flat, as you can see. We're still gonna work on the bike, get it running right, but I'm gonna have to order up an inner tube. Should be here in two days, though. So we should still be able to ride the pit bike soon. Um, probably not in this video. Hopefully next video or the video after that. I do want to get the CR125 finished So let's continue working on this bike and let's get it running right All right, we're gonna drain the fuel out Okay guys, as you can see, I was draining the gas. Um, a weird thing, which is interesting, I've had this happen to me before. This is the petcock valve. Uh, whoever rides dirt bikes, which most of you guys do, I'm sure. You know, this is just to turn the fuel on, off, and on reserve, or whatever. So I noticed that the gas will only flow out if it's on reserve. So when it's on to on, it's basically like it's off, really. And then off is off. So the only time it's flowing fuel is on reserve and it might not flow enough fuel. So oftentimes these petcock valves go bad or they're just dirty. So what I'm gonna do is take take this one off. It's just two eight or ten millimeter bolts right here and it should slide out of the tank. And then I'm gonna try to clean it, see if there's anything gunked up in there. So stay tuned. Okay guys, the petcock valve's off. As you can see that's damaged there. Um, and there's not screws you could take it off and and look inside of here because there's kind of a little channel way we're still going to throw this one on see if it works but these are really cheap to replace so if this is broke and i can't get the bike idling i'll go ahead and order this part all right guys we added fresh gas into the tank now we will um i haven't tried to kick it over or anything now we will try to adjust it to the stock settings in the owner's manual so right here we have our air screw or our throttle stop screw they say um, so I haven't touched this yet. The manual says it should be about half turns out. So let's see how many turns it was out. Okay, so that was a lot more than half a turn. I'm going to tighten it until it's lightly seated. Alright, so it's lightly seated right there. So we're going to go half a turn out. Alright, so that's exactly half a turn out. If we look under here, not sure if you guys can see this where the tip of my uh, screwdriver is. This here is our pilot screw. It's kind of hard to get to, but you want that 
two and three eighths turn out. So tighten it up and see how many turns it was and then take it out two turns and probably start right there. And then we'll kick it over with choke and see how she runs. Okay guys, so the gas is turned on reserve. I got the choke all the way down. Let's make sure the key is on the on position. Key is on. Give it a couple. Get some gas flowing to that carburetor. Set the pilot screw and the air screw to stock, so there goes nothing. Alright guys, as you can see, it was idling way too high. I tried to back out the pilot screw a little bit and the air screw. Let's see what it does. Hopefully we don't blow this thing up. Alright, here goes nothing. All right guys, gonna have to end the video right there. It's starting to rain. As you guys can see, sorry I'm breathing heavy. I just had to throw three bikes into a shed because it's starting to come down hard. But as you guys can tell, the XR100 is running lean. It's idling, not correctly because we're having to run it on reserve and it's not getting enough fuel to even make the idle adjustments correctly. And you don't want to run a bike lean, you'll end up blowing something up, so. We ordered a petcock valve, not OEM, but it was like 10 bucks. I ordered a front tire tube, front inner tube, sorry. I don't know what's up with me, but. Anyways, we'll get, we'll get those installed and then start doing our, uh, you know, pick, bi pick bike adventures and wheelies and whatnot. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, check out my Instagram. It's the same as my YouTube without the G in riding, so ride in, kind of, with Jacob, but go follow me on there, you'll see when I post a video and everything, thanks for the support, see you guys next time.